Hi everybody, welcome to Advanced Higher Geography. This is a very short introduction video that just helps you navigate your way uh, around the main classroom that we set up for you, as well as an introduction to the course in general. Okay, before I just take you through um, how the classroom works, uh, in your course up until the point when uh, you return to school, which hopefully is going to be sooner rather than later, we've got a series of pieces of work that we've set up for you to do, which we would be doing with you in class. Also, we're in a very unique position starting the Advanced Higher course really early. Normally, we would start in June, um, but we have this opportunity to get you up and running uh, and introduce you to a range of skills well in advance of, of June. And therefore, uh, this year, you're going to have a huge advantage studying this course over other years because you're going to have this additional six weeks of time we don't normally have. Now, um, I am planning on doing a field trip at some point, uh, a real field trip. Um, I'm hoping to do that in June, but uh, we may, unfortunately, due to COVID-19, not be able to do our trip to Aaron in June, which means I'll try to sort something out in the autumn. It'll either be a residential trip, which is what I was hoping to do, which is going away for three days and field centre to study geography in detail, or it might just be a series of one-day trips that we end up doing. So I'll keep you posted on that as I get more information and get something planned. Okay, let's just have a little look at the Google Classroom that uh, you've got via this link. So you'll hopefully have clicked on this link um, as the first thing that you saw, um, because I will post it in this very first section here, um, and that will then be leading you to listening to me right now. And the classroom it has got the stream, which is anything new is put but you also got the classwork tab and in the classwork tab you will see um, it's broken into two main sections at the moment we have got what we call the geographical methods and techniques uh, a little bit more on that in a minute and the issues essay um, now if you click on either of these what it will do is it will just sort out all of the topic things or topic areas that are to do with the issues essay so in this case i've clicked on this and Mr. Anderson is going to be navigating you through the essay over the coming year. And what he has done, and I suggest you you watch, uh, you have a look at this, is he's giving you a getting started doc, which you're going to need to read. It's quite a detailed set of instructions on how to get going on doing an essay, uh, a geographical issues essay. He's also set a series of assignments, which at the moment you can see appear in grey, but as you get to the, the due dates on each of these, they will go from being gray to black, and you'll then be able to access, for example, in your first week, uh, your virtual jotter will become accessible, and you'll then be able to click on um, this particular essay exemplar and complete tasks that he set to at that point. Um, and then as each week goes by, more um, tasks are going to be set. And you can see that they're all there. And just each week, make sure you get the due date. You, uh, the due date you can see is there for each of these pieces of work. And you can't actually access them until um, they become released to you. And week by week, uh, when you submit a piece of work, your virtual jotter, when you hand it in to Mr. Anderson, he will have a look at it, mark it, give you feedback in your jotter, and hand it back to you um, for the following weeks. So you can then complete the next set of tasks in the same virtual jotter. So complete all work in this virtual jotter here. Okay. Now let's have a little look at geographical methods and techniques. Now there's two reasons for these. Uh, I teach you most of this stuff in the class. Um, and the first reason for these is you need to know these te techniques in order to complete your actual project, which along with your essay um, that Mr. Anderson is doing um, comprises what we call the folio. And the folio is worth uh, two thirds of the marks of your entire advanced hire of which you've got the essay and your project. And your project involves you going somewhere and gathering your own data, doing your own field work. Um, the second reason for doing uh, spending a lot of time on our geographical methods and techniques is that we also have an exam at the end of the course which assesses your um, skills on the course. And for example, how do you gather data if you're doing a river study? How would you present your data if you were had data on footpath erosion on the Conic Hill, and so on and so forth. You've had experience of field work in the past, um, and that's really what the advanced hire involves an awful lot of, certainly the project side. It's about how we gather data, how we sample data, how we process it, and how we analyze it. Now, you've got a student textbook. Um, I will give you a, a class version of this, a printed version of this when we get back to school. Here's a PDF version for you to have a little look at. 
and it, can, it comprises of the entire course. It's just taking a bit of time to load up. Um, and when it does load up, you'll see that it's got 115 pages, just of like any textbook um, that you can use. I'm just going to close this because it's not actually loading up at the moment. Let's just see if I can get it to load up. Um, and as you go through it, I will direct you to the key bits of information that you need to read um, as you go through the course. And you will therefore cover all of the different skills. Uh, and actually on this page here, page four of the textbook, you can see the primary skills that are required in an advanced higher course. Okay, I'm just going to jump back to the main classroom. Um, I am also, in order to get you going, going to take you on a series of what I'm going to call virtual field trips. I need you to make sure you all of your work in the virtual jotter, just as you're going to be doing with Mr. Anderson's um, essay. And at the end of uh, a piece of work that you submit it, hand, press the hand in button when you've completed all the tasks for that week, and then I will mark it and give you feedback. And just like with the essay with Mr. Anderson, every week you'll see a new assignment open up. Um, in this case, I'm giving you to the 30th of April for your assignment number one. So you're going to get almost two weeks to complete it. And it's going to take you on a virtual field trip to St. Andrews to conduct some field work virtually, obviously, because we can't go there ourselves. Um, and you'll be gathering data during this field trip. I'm also going to host um, a weekly drop-in session using Google Meets. You'll get a little invite to those sessions. And uh, I suggest you've got going with the work before you come to these classes, if, you, if you're intending on joining. Um, because it you'll hopefully have some questions and that's the purpose of the the google meets um it's a chance for you to li on live during the lesson ask me some questions any questions you do have at any point um please make sure you email if you, if if it's if the questions uh, can't wait till the actual google meet or you're having problems getting to the google meet for whatever reason just send either me or mr anderson an essay whether if it's to do with the gmts send one to me if it's to do with the essay, send one to Mr. Anderson and we'll get back to you straight away. Hopefully all of this is going to be over soon and we're going to get you back to school uh, to get you on what I think is probably an interesting piece of geography you'll ever done. It's certainly the best course in geography out there and it'll teach you some really important skills that go way beyond geography in, in terms of just general life skills that will benefit you in your academic career beyond high school. So good luck and I look forward to seeing your first set of submissions uh, on the 30th, and Mr. Anderson will be looking for his on the 27th.